Chad's VASC is a risk stratification score that helps assess the risk of stroke in patients with non-valvular atrial fibrillation. One point is awarded for each, apart from the letters with a 2 next to them, and the final category. The C stands for congestive heart failure, H for hypertension, which includes patients with readings of 140 systolic and 90 diastolic persistently, or if they are on medication for hypertension. The first A is for age above 65 years, and D is for diabetes mellitus. S stands for a previous stroke, which counts as two points, and V stands for vascular disease history, which could include myocardial infarction or peripheral artery disease as examples. The second A stands for age again, but this time 75 years or above, which again grants two points. SC stands for sex category, meaning females, and this also awards one point. As a comparison of the totals, a Chadsvask score of zero estimates an annual stroke risk of 0.2%, while a Chadsvask of nine, which is the maximum, is estimated as an annual risk of 12.2%. A score of zero for a male or one for a female is considered low risk and therefore is not recommended to start anticoagulation therapy. A score of one for a male is considered a medium risk and in this instance an anticoagulant should be considered and balanced with the risk of bleeding. A score of two or higher indicates a high risk for stroke and therefore an anticoagulant is recommended such as either warfarin or one of the direct oral anticoagulant agents such as apixaban, rivaroxaban, dabigatran or idoxaban. Now we have Hasbled which instead is a scoring system used to assess the one year risk of major bleeding in patients on anticoagulation for atrial fibrillation. Major bleeding referred to intracranial hemorrhages, bleeding requiring hospitalization, a hemoglobin drop of more than 2 grams per deciliter, or the need for transfusion. H again stands for hypertension, but in this case the cutoff is 160 systolic. A is for abnormal renal and abnormal liver function, where for renal function the patient may be on dialysis, has had a transplant, or has a creatinine level above 200 micromoles per litre, or 2.26 milligrams per deciliter. Abnormal liver function is defined as having cirrhosis, or having bilirubin levels above two times the normal range, which is normally less than 21 micromoles per litre, or 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. The other lab markers indicative of liver damage include AST and ALT, which stand for aspartate transaminase, or alanine transferase, which are 5 to 40 units per litre and 7 to 56 units per litre respectively. Or we can also have alkaline phosphatase levels above three times the normal range, which is normally 44 to 147 international units per litre. There is one point available for each of abnormal renal function and abnormal liver function. Next we have S, which again stands for a history of stroke and B, which stands for bleeding, which includes previous major bleeding or a predisposition to bleeding. L is for a labile INR, meaning an INR which is not stable and spends more than 40% of the time higher than the therapeutic range. E is for elderly and specifically over the age of 65, and we then come to D, which is for a prior history of drugs or alcohol use, or for the use of medications that predispose to bleeding, such as antiplatelet agents or NSAIDs. One point is available for each of these as well. In total, therefore, the Hasbled score ranges between 0 and 9. Scores of 3 or above are considered high risk and will need regular follow-up and review of their anticoagulation medication, but note this is not an absolute contraindication to anticoagulation. The other useful aspect of the score is that it highlights reversible causes of an increased bleeding risk, such as hypertension, a labile INR, and alcohol or medication use.